All right, kindergartners, on our first day of our hot air balloon project, we're going to start by painting our coffee filter. That's going to be the top of our balloon. We're going to paint it with the primary colors. So we just got done talking about the three primary colors, and we've learned about them this year. So I'm starting with red, and I can use yellow. So I'm just making sure I'm getting lots of water on my brush and getting those paints to work. If I overlap them, I will start to see new colors. So overlap means I'm going right on top of that red. If I take a little peek, I can start to see orange. It's just kind of hard to see it when it's on my red paper. I'm going to add a little blue. So I'm kind of just going around in a circle, switching colors. This red paper is just to catch my painting spills we will not need it next time. So you might have a different color at your table. Mine is red, yours might be orange or yellow or something else. Ooh, I'm starting to see some green where yellow and blue mixed. Looks cool. I might go back and do red again, I'm kind of doing a pattern. I want to try to paint the whole coffee filter. So I'm getting rid of all those white spots. If you notice, I am not rubbing back and forth very fast. I'm kind of picking my brush up and just going one direction with my paint. That way my fil coffee filter stays flat. Awesome. When you're done with this first part, we're going to put these in that short little drying rack Mrs. Cleary has out. Then you're going to go right back to your table spot and you're going to start to weave. So on this little tiny brown paper, you will find probably your name up at the top. I'm trying to write my name, Mrs. C. And this paper was actually made from a little brown lunch bag because this project has a bag in it. All the kids at our school are making a project with a bag in it. So I'm going to take one of these brown strips and just like we talked about with weaving on the smart board, these brown strips are going to go in and out of those little cuts. So my brown strip is on top of this first part. It's going to go in that slit and under this next part. It's going to pop back out. So I have a pattern of on top and then it's under and on top and then it's under. Now I'm ready for my next piece. This is where it gets a little tricky. So if I was on top here my next one is going to start under, so they're opposite. And then it's got to poke through, and then it's got to go under, and then it's got to poke through again, so it ends on top. So right now I have th two brown pieces. I can probably fit three. Some of you might even fit four brown pieces of paper. So help me figure out, do I start this one on top, under, should I start it on top or under? You got it, on top, because I want that to be opposite at the bottom. This is where it gets a little tricky. I might have to pick it up to kind of poke that brown paper in, and then I bend it to get it out. And I poke it back down to get it in. So I have three brown pieces I was able to weave. Some of you might be able to weave four. When you're done with this part, I want you to just leave it at your table spot. Mrs. Cleary is going to make sure that your name can still be seen on your weaving so we know whose is whose next time when we put our hot air balloon project together. Kindergartners, today we're ready to put our hot air balloon together. So to start, we want to make sure you finished weaving. So if you still needed to put those paper strips in and out of that bag, you'll need to do that. We're going to glue our um, coffee filter to the top or towards the top of the paper and that basket part to the bottom we want to make sure we have space between them so I found out the hard way that we definitely want to use glue stick to glue this down otherwise you can see our dried glue so the only thing we're glue sticking today is the coffee filter so I put glue stick all over that I'm going to rub it down and then you can't see the glue through it now I'm ready to glue my bag to my paper. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back. That back side has your name on it, so you want to put glue on that side. 
and then I don't want it to touch. I want a nice space between it towards the bottom of my paper. That way I can draw people and the lines of the hot air balloon in there. So I would draw and pencil first. You should have at least one person in your hot air balloon. You could have two. So I have an oval for their head. I have a little neck. And then because they're in that hot air balloon basket, we can't see their legs. We might just see the tops of their bodies, their arms. I'm not going to add hair and stuff to them because I'm going to color that on. Maybe next to them I have a little shorter person. So then I can't even see maybe all of their shirt. I'm going to have that person waving. Their hand is up and maybe their other arm is down. That's all I'm going to draw in pencil. And then I'm going to color. And I want these to look like real people. So I'm trying to find real colors like maybe skin colors, peach, tan, or brown for their face and their neck. And this hand should have a peach color to it. Maybe this person's wearing a blue shirt, so I'm going to color that a little bit darker. I forgot to color their neck. I want that to be peach. Maybe this person has a pink shirt. I'm going to kind of push really hard in some spots so I can see their arms better. And those people need hair and eyes. So I'm going to make this person have curly hair. Maybe that's the mom. And then maybe I have a boy over here and he's got maybe just spiky hair. I'm going to add eyes and a mouth. If I was in a hot air balloon, I would be super happy. So I'm going to have big smiles on them. Okay, so right now this basket and the hot air balloon aren't connected. So I'm going to add some lines. So I'm going to have like one from each corner at the top of this basket. It's going to come up and I'm going to kind of draw it underneath my coffee filter. I don't want it to go on top of it. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. It's going to kind of tuck underneath it. And I know it's silly, but I'm going to have some coming right in front of these people because they would be in front of them because they're in that basket. I think four, five, or maybe six lines would be plenty. They are floating up in the sky. So I'm going to add some cotton balls for clouds. So the cool thing with these cotton balls is if you give them a little pull, so I'm using my pincher fingers and just kind of giving them a little pull, they get bigger and they get more of a fun shape to them. So I think you are going to get three cotton balls. I'm going to add a little bit of glue, kind of a circle on my paper, and I'm going to stretch that cotton ball out to fit on that circle. So they could be on top of the hot air balloon. They could be under it. You know what? They could even be a little bit touching it in front of it, like they're floating through the sky. I might add one down here. When you are all finished putting your hot air balloon together, it's going to go in the big drying rack.